My father once told me when I was young that a man and beast once roamed along the expanse of beauty reflecting perfection the earth was good and all was well and he said son you are born from this wilderness hello from south africa i'm adrian gardner and first of all i'd like to thank paul for that wonderful introduction that he's done about where it all began about mantis and our journey over the last 30 years. So for the first little uh, talk that I'm going to do, I'm going to take you back in time and tell you about the 30 years, the people that influenced me, what changed our lives and what uh, the importance of a team is. Because without a team, you haven't got players and you haven't got a business. So I was quite influenced by Steve Jobs when I looked at the Apple story and he kept on saying to his people, why are we different? And the same thing applies to Mantis. Why are we different? And I take you back 30 odd years when I was decided that it was time to put something back into the environment. And I was brought up in a country called Zimbabwe, Rhodesia at the time. My father was very involved in cattle ranching and we were exposed to wildlife. When I came to the Eastern Cape in South Africa in 1969, I was in the construction crane hire swimming pool business and then into horse racing. And chance at Garden with 100 to go and the filly's going to hold off the four fancy stable companion. In chance at Garden by three parts of an eight. Then I decided after selling our horses that it was time for me to find my own patch of Africa. And I think most of us Africans really dream of finding your patch of Africa. I went back to Zimbabwe. I went over the traditional areas in South Africa and I soon realized that if I didn't find something close to me, close to Port Elizabeth, I wouldn't be able to give it the time, the dedication that it needed. So our journey really revolved around taking drought ravaged, degraded and abused farmland and putting back was there full of all sorts of species of fantastic wildlife. And most importantly, Africa's big five were very prominent in the area. And those big five, as we all know, are the lion, the leopard, the elephant, the rhino, the buffalo, and they were all here in great numbers. And when I put these farms together and I researched what was there, I decided that it was time to put back what was the traditional parts of Africa into this area. That was a journey that could never have happened if it hadn't been for the people that I met, that I was influenced by, and who we're going to talk to over the journey of 30 years. And some of these people, regrettably, are no longer today. And I talk about Dr. Ian Player, Sir Lawrence van der Post, John Aspel, and many others who had a great, great influence on my life. And then I take you into the future, and I take you into today's world, and I just see the number of people that are now really interested in taking the environment taking what we've abused over many years and trying to put back what we think should have been done over these years. And I think the example of Mantis is probably what you guys listening to the story are going to enjoy. So we talked about the big five in the terms of the animal world, and we're going to talk about our big five. Our big five is based around hospitality, development. First of all, we develop something, then we've got to run it. So we have a hospitality division. Then we've got to fill the beds, the sales and marketing, and then two most important parts to our big five, which have changed my life, and they are conservation and education. So we're gonna take each of those parts of the big five, and we're gonna tell you about the journey. We go to St. Helena, we go to the Antarctic, going to the most remote parts of the world. We go into uh, beaches in the Middle East. We go all over the world and tell you about why Mantis was chosen to explore these areas. Then we go on to hospitality and we tell you why we run each of our businesses differently and why there's just no plan because when you arrive in Antarctic, you're not arriving at a city hotel like we have in London. And then we go to sales and marketing and all the various different channels that we use and we're gonna be interviewing people about the stories we tell and all 
the background of it and you're going to find that I think inspiring and very different to what you normally see or hear when you're talking about sales and marketing. Then when we talk about conservation, I mean this is the important part of my life. When I talk about you're going to hear people like Ian Player and what he did and how he changed my life, John Aspinall, Virginia McKenna and many other people are in, con in the conservation world and as I alluded to it, we're also going to talk about the current people that are involved, the sportsmen that are involved. Then we're going to talk to you about education and in education we're going to talk about uh, our worldwide experience where we started a program of gap year students which I think you're going to find incredibly exciting about kids who come out to properties all over the world where they do a conservation experience. Then I'm going to talk to you about the university which was founded by um, Mantis, myself and a couple of other friends and the only university in the world where you can do a semester in wildlife conservation and lodge management. So that journey is a journey which we're going to take you on over the next uh, few weeks and we'll interview all these people and I think you're going to find that Mantis is not just a simple hotel chain, it's very different, it's the only hotel group in the world on all seven continents, it's probably the most diverse group and then we're going to talk to our partners, the ACOR group who joined us in 2018 on this journey. So it's a journey that I think you're going to find intriguing, interesting and very different to all other hospitality groups that you've been associated with or seen over the world. Enjoy the journey with us which will take us over quite a few interviews and some very exciting adventures and just how it all began.